Hello everybody, yes, um, just going to give you a quick little update, maybe this might, might not, this might not be a quick update. Um, sorry I haven't been getting back to you for the last few days, uh, been a little bit busy. Um, on Thursday I, I definitely had to see the uh, surgeon and uh, they checked out my uh, uh, suit, my, my area for the surgery and uh, it was uh, it was an interesting day. Um, I have uh, <clears throat> I, I'd have to step back and, and tell you a little bit more, but I, I'll, I'll start out with Wednesday. I was doing some exercising, um, trying to get myself prepared to do the climb down the steps and go see the doctor on Thursday and make the climb back up the steps. And she's bad hair day and. Um, in the process of doing that, I tired myself out quite a bit. So, uh, so when Thursday morning came around at uh, bright and early, um, and had to go see the uh, the surgeon, the doctor, and uh, his um, uh, what is that NP? What is that nurse practitioner? Took care of the s surgical area, um, and uh, you know, we spent some time in there. It was interesting because uh, educational for me. Um, doctor came in and uh, and said that uh, you know he looked at it too and and said, well, I'm I'm impressed that you're doing about ten times better than I thought you would have. Uh, not too sure if that was a compliment or just something he tells all his patients. I don't know. So. Um, so my little bit of backstory is, this is going to not be a short, by the way, is that during um, my COVID uh, issues I had right after I got home from the hospital, I sort of busted open a little bit of the surgical area. Um, not very bad, but enough that it was... Uh, uh, getting spotty. There was a little bit of bleeding coming out and very spotty bleedingness. Nothing that I was, you know, like I had to be rushed back to the hospital or nothing. It wasn't like squirting out blood everywhere. No, it wasn't doing any of that. It was just uh, spotting up the uh, the uh, gauze that was on it. And it got to the point where it also has opened up in a few spots. Um, superficial, is that that's the word they used yesterday, was the or I should say on Thursday, it was superficial rule uh, openings, meaning that the inside where all the stitches are is fine. The outside where they put the glue, well, I guess the glue didn't stick very well. I guess I'm not a glueable type of guy. We also found out paper tape doesn't work on me either, so <laughs> needless to say. Um, so that was taken care of, the 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 nurse practitioner did a wonderful job trained my wife on how to continue taking care of my area of uh, surgical area and uh, my wife's been doing a wonderful job she's been uh, oh god god blessed her for doing everything she's been doing um you know i'm a very lucky man to have such a wonderful wife um and a very wonderful person indeed indeed very wonderful person um, so she's been doing a good job. She got a, that a girl, both from the doctor and from the nurse practitioner. So, and she keeps getting that a girls from the nurses that visit me and, and other people too. So uh, she's doing a good job. She's taking care of me well. She's a good caregiver, at least in my behalf. That's for sure. Um, but the, the area in which, uh, has had some seepage of blood or spottiness, is starting to heal up. Uh, there's three little holes that have opened up that you know ooze out a little bit of blood here and there. I would I would show the pictures, but I would be afraid that YouTube would say, "No, you can't do that." Um, yeah, they don't look the greatest, so you know it's uh, even though it'd be considered as an educational thing, I guess that would not be very good. So we will not show those pictures. Uh, based upon how they could, uh, you know, I'd have to put out special warnings and all this other stuff. So, anyway, 
So to get back to the doctor, they said, well, it's going to take about another six to eight weeks. Um, but I'm improving. And uh, I'm supposed to continue exercising and trying to, uh, you know, obtain better endurance for stuff. The walk to the doctor's office from the car was exhausting. Uh, Thursday was a totally exhausting day. Uh, so bad that Friday I, I couldn't even do my exercises Friday because I was still wiped out from Thursday. So, you know, it takes a little while to build up what you once had. So, um, today I I'm, I'm did a few laps in the house. I haven't gone outside. It's a little bit chillier outside. It's in like in the 50s and 40s this morning. So, uh, it's a little kind of nippy out there. I don't want to freeze. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's that's my update. Uh, you know, I'm doing better. I did see a surgeon and and his nurse practitioner, and uh, they both agreed that things are improving. Um, and it's going to be a, a little bit of a trail to get back to what my norm was. Um, you know, they, they both said, well... It takes time, and I guess that's the thing is I just have to bear with that and every day do a little bit better and, you know, try to improve every day one step at a time. So, and now considering I've been up and down the steps a couple of times for, um, you know, for the doctor's appointment and also for uh, practice with the uh, physical therapist, uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. Gee, it got a little dark in here. I just noticed that. Uh, must have a cloud passing by outside. So, Okay, that's my update. I'm sorry it's a long one, uh, but there is good news that things are improving and that, uh, you know, they're giving me a, another sort of date in which things should improve by even more than it is. So I will be seeing uh, the doctor again in about three weeks or something like that to, See if everything is still on schedule. So, all right. Thanks a lot. I appreciate, really, truly, I appreciate everything. Everything. All the prayers that everybody's been giving. All the get well wishes that all of you have been giving. And all of the support and the encouragement that everybody has been giving me. I, from the bottom of my heart, I truly appreciate everything that you've done for me. I have a very wonderful friends and family and support staff of, you know, had, had great doctors and nurses and, and everything seems to be just going better and better. And I have deeply appreciate it. Thank you to all my subscribers. Um, even if I don't know you personally, I appreciate everything that you have done for me also with the prayers and the get well wishes. Um, you're like the extended family of the extended family. You know, I, I just appreciate it all. So thank you. And uh, I'll get back to you tomorrow if, you know, maybe I'll be outside walking around. Who knows? So, all right. Have a good day and uh, thanks again. Bye.